What's up guys? It's Ryantium here, and today we are back in Skyrim, and oh man, have I got something amazing to show you guys. But first, if you guys enjoy what you're about to see, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe for more daily videos, and if you haven't done already, follow me on Twitter at CouchPotato1898. Link is down there in the description. So, today, I've got a very, very cool mod showcase to do for you guys, because it's going to be on a very, very cool weapon that is kind of underutilized in the uh, the Skyrim lore. And uh, for some reason, the uh, the Castle Shellblad lights are going a little bit crazy inside of here. I don't know what's going on with the lighting textures, but that's okay. We're just going to kind of just don't look at it. So what I'm talking about is inside of my inventory, I actually have God Mode on right now because I'm actually, I think, 110 pounds overweight, but that's okay. Uh, hashtag Fat Squad. So inside of my mod list, I downloaded a super freaking cool mod list, or a super cool mod, guys. So, let's see if I can find where it's at. Right here. Katana crafting. I love the little thumbnail. It's just this little cute little cat. So, uh, the, the mod adds a bunch of craftable katanas to Skyrim. So, inside of my inventory, guys, I have every single katana crafted, <laughs> with the exception of the Stallfrim uh, katana. I couldn't find out how to do the Stallfrim because I don't have uh, Stallfrim crafting unlocked, but there is a Stallfrim um, katana. Uh, there's a katana, a Dai Katana, a Tonto, and a Wakazashi uh, Stallfrim um, variant. So it's pretty cool. So without further ado, let's get into looking at these bad boys. So as you can tell, the models look incredible. And it changes with every single one. So these are the Daedric ones, and each one has its own kind of shape. So the Daedric, or so the Dai Katana is a two-handed katana. The katana is a one-handed, uh, one-handed sword. The Tonto, I assume, is similar to like what would be a dagger. And then the Wakazashi could be a short sword, perhaps, because it looks shorter than a, a shorter than a uh, katana, but longer than a tonto. So that's kind of what I assume is going on with that. So let's take a look at what this looks like. I'll take my uh, my fluffy cloak off so we can see it on the, my back. And uh, you know what? Let's just take my armor off too, and uh, we'll see what it looks like on my back. So as you can see. The scabbard, or actually, it probably has a different name than a scabbard. I don't know the traditional name for what you slide a. Um, katana in and out of but if anyone knows leave it down there in the comments uh so right there guys look at how menacing that looks the katana is such a menacing weapon just in itself and i mean that is a big freaking katana like holy jesus if i had a freaking two-handed katana coming at me i'd probably shat myself so let's see what the uh, the two-handed or the uh, the one-handed variants look like let's take out the katana and the tonto so the Tonto is in my left hand, the Katana is in my right hand. So as you can see, the Tonto is more along the lines of what would be a dagger, is what I'm assuming it would be. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and get a quick save and see what it does to, uh, to uh, Serana. Thank you for being my test dummy, Serana. <laughs> what about to you, Ghost Maiden? Wow, that did a decent bit. That did a decent bit of damage. Wow, that does like a lot of damage. I just triple shot at her with a Tonto. That's pretty good. What about the, uh... So the Katana does a decent bit of damage, and none of these have been enchanted, nor have they been upgraded. So they do a decent bit of damage right off the top. Now, granted, these are the Daedric variants, so they're gonna do a decent bit of damage right off the top. So, along with Daedric, every single one of them, or every single material has its own... Um, I guess katana variant. So you've got the dragon bone one, which I use two-handed weapons So this is the one that I would be using like holy Jesus Just look at that thing and I love I'm just gonna call it a scabbard uh, because that's what I would call a swords Sheath, but like look at the thing on his back. That is beautiful Hats off to the mod author uh, Because they look so good the models look amazing They absolutely look gorgeous and I mean that looks like a bone I wouldn't call that, like, a metal or anything like that. I wouldn't call that plastic or anything. That looks bone. That looks bonerific. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. That was stupid. Uh, let's see. Let's see what the dwarven one looks like. Ooh, that looks cool. Oh, that looks amazing. The craftsmanship and just the models of them, they look incredible. The hilt looks incredible. And I'm sure everything on a, on a katana has a different name um, than a sword, but uh, but I just, I'm not sure. It looks so good. God, they look so good. 
let's see, the ebony one? So the ebony one, it's funny. In Skyrim, the ebony blade, I believe, is a katana, um, which is actually one of the uh, the Daedric artifacts. So it's funny to see the, the ebony katana look pretty, pretty much like the ebony blade uh, Daedric artifact, which is a very, very cool return to form. But look at the, look at the ornate, like, drawings and etchings around the hilt it looks so pretty and ebony has always been the one of the prettiest armors in skyrim it's just been one of those uh armors that i i've liked way more than like i've liked it way more than dragonbone and daedric because of the ornateness and just the uh the beauty of it because they it looks like it looks like it's been ha like handcrafted so let's see elven Ooh, elven looks beautiful it almost looks serrated that looks cool I, I like how it's curved as well. Like, if you notice, most li mostly with all elven blades, they're always curved, which is gorgeous. I love the craftsmanship. That looks so pretty. Oh, and look at that. Oh, that's gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, my God. It's got a leather, a leather scabbard. Oh, my God. Oh, if I was going to use a katana, I think I would use this one because it is gorgeous. It's just a cur- it looks like a snake on my back. That is pretty. That is pretty. So let's see. Glass. Glass looks beautiful too. That's not bad either. I like the green. It's a pretty finish. It almost looks like a mix between elvish and glass. So that is a very pretty finish. Very, very pretty. Very, very, very pretty. And let's see. We got Nordic Steel. It looks like your standard katana, just with like a, a stainless steel finish. Then we've got uh, orcish. So see, my problem with orcish is it's it looks so blunt. Like even with a sword, it just looks blunt. And I've I've never been a fan of the orcish, never been a fan of the orcish style of armor nor the orcish weapons. Like don't get me wrong, it looks kind of cool, but I I would never use it. Uh, let's see. Then we've got. The steel die katana. The steel die the steel die katana does look cool. I like the wooden and leather uh, and steel uh, scabbard, and then just the finish. It's a very nice, nice plain finish. The minimalistic finish looks very good. So as you can tell, the katanas are very, very beautiful weapons, and the mod author has done a very, very good job modeling these swords um, after what they look like, uh, like. In the world, real world. Wow, my amulet of RK is huge. Look at that. It's like I have a third nipple. But anyways, enough with ogling over the beauty of the katanas. It's time to kill some stuff. So let's see. Castle Shellblad has a sparring pit inside of it. So you know what? Let's go kill some things. Uh, I'll meet you guys inside of the sparring pits. All right, here we go. Time to do a little bit of sparring. And when I mean sparring, time to kill some people. Let's see. Hello, novice conjurer. You want to die? One. <laughs> <laughs> so it's five on one. Oh, that's Serana crap. I almost killed Serana. Oops. Oh crap. Okay, this thing is a little bit hard to swing. Come here. I want to cut someone's head off. Please, can I cut someone's? Oh yes. Off with one. <laughs> oh my freaking god. That never gets old. I I don't understand how that could never get old. How many heads have I cut off? Someone's got to have a tally somewhere. And there goes another one. That, Jesus, I love cutting people's heads off on this game. There's just something about it. Cutting people's heads off in this game has got to be one of the best things ever. I don't understand why it's so addicting. So, we're using the elven one. Oh, I just ran it through her. We're using the elven one, and the thing held up pretty dang well. Like you saw, that thing did a decent amount of damage. Now, granted, I have a decent bit of health and a decent bit of armor. However... That sword only does, let's see, uh, Elven, it only does 43 damage. So let's see, let's set up another one and we'll test another um, uh, katana against uh, more more people. So let's see, number of opponents, we'll do five. And configure sparring match, traps, no. All right, so we'll go ahead and try, let's try the glass one. And we'll see how we do. So let's go ahead and start the sparring match. All right, sparring match will begin shortly. Prepare yourself. I don't need to prepare my damn self. You kidding me? Storm mages. These people don't stand a damn chance. Oh, hello there. So, they're not one-shotting. Oh, God. Holy blood. That was a little bit gory. So, it's not a one-shot. 
but I feel like maybe with like a um, a Daedric one, it would absolutely one-shot them. I absolutely believe that. Gosh, dang, these things are powerful. Goodbye, head. <laughs> but they're absolutely an elegant weapon if you want to look amazing while chopping people's heads off. That I can absolutely guarantee you. Oh, jeez. That's a big boy. He's an ascendant cultist. I've never fought one of these guys. Hmm. Interesting. I've never fought one of these guys. I almost died there. That would have been a little bit bad. So I've never fought one of those ascendant cultists. That's probably why I almost bit the dust. But if you want to look amazing while fighting, download this katana crafting because you will look amazing while fighting. Like, holy crap, you will look absolutely incredible while fighting. Um, they're beautiful looking swords. They do a shit ton of damage when you want them to, and that's only the stock version of the katanas, and you can pretty much have whatever variant um, of, like, material that you want. So if you have Daedric armor, you can have a Daedric katana. If you have steel armor, you can have a steel katana. So with that, guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and end off today's little mod showcase right there, because... Really, there's not a whole lot more to say about the katanas other than I would absolutely recommend downloading this mod and using it, and I think I'm going to use it. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful mod. Uh, the swords and uh, weapons are absolutely amazing, and this elven die katana is, oh god, it's amazing. So beautiful. So, oh, I didn't even see that. That's gorgeous. Look at the leaves. They're so pretty. So, anyways, with that being said, you guys... I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, a little mod showcase thingy, and if you did, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe for more daily videos, and if you haven't done already, follow me on Twitter at CouchPotato1898, and I will see you guys in the next video.